What's up folks? Back on the lake after some tournaments. It's been a great summer so far for three pound fishing. Appreciate you joining me today. What we're gonna do today, we're, we're, we are going to talk about live scope. We're gonna show you some of these piles, how loaded they are, even in the dead of the summer. Water temperature is roughly around 90 degrees, but I'm gonna give you some of that active captain views that you like. So we're at my buddy Reno's house. I'm using his boat and we're gonna show you some really nice, cool images of fish catches. So stay tuned, please subscribe. We're about to put some big slabs in the boat. All right. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Is that screen all jacked up? Oh yeah, I think that's better. All right, so yeah, without a doubt, man, uh, it's been a great summer. I appreciate everybody. Check out Instagram, Facebook. We're posting there on a daily basis. And uh, these YouTube videos are just a lot of fun. So we're gonna continue doing those one to two a week, that type of thing. And uh, definitely trying to help you guys learn a little bit about more about crappie fishing, single pulling in particular. That's what we like to do, single pulling. Yeah, I love it, I love it. We're looking at thumps. We're gonna start off with a hair jake. We got jinkle baits. We've got a gloomy day. Not many boats come out of the water, so we should have free run of wherever we want to go. So my goal is just to get some big slabs in the boat. Guide trips are going great. Check them out. Three pound fishing at gmail.com. So, we just located the fish. Maybe we won't throw a buoy. Because <laughs> I don't know where his buoy's at. I sense rain. I sense rain everywhere. There's a lot of fish there. I think it's going to spit like this all day. All right, rain delay one. We find ourselves under a dock. A friend of ours. I don't know what to tell you, but it's going to rain all day, so it'll probably be in and out from the docks, catch a fish, in and out, that type of thing, but still a great day on the water, it's still fishing. I don't mind the rain at all if it's a, if it's a warm day, it doesn't bother me at all, but I still would like to do some fishing. So if you guys have an opportunity, please come out to the Crappie Expo. We will be there, I think it's October 25th that week at Table Rock in Branson, Missouri. We'll be at several different booths, probably Cornfield Crappie Gear, American Fish Tree, uh, some other ones that are going to carry in the Ozark rods. So we'll have gear, all that stuff, come out and talk crappie with us. We'd love to talk to you about, you know, single pole and anything that we're doing. We just love to meet the subscribers and talk crappie. So it should be a great event. Could look really looking forward to it. fish of the day. All right, there's our first fish of the day. Just an eater fish. Very nice though, good start. Gloomy rain all around us, gotta love it. All right, it's summer, it's a hard bite. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Um, they're short striking, uh, sometimes they're not reacting, but live scope allows you to see the fish. You now know that they're there, I'm talking schools of fish as you can see me drop it down on this one right here i'm telling you folks they're there the issue is can we get them to bite a lot of those tactics that we've talked about before sizing down your baits i cut my jinko tickle fries almost in half to make sure it's a small presentation all i'm doing is pitching it out there i really believe when the bite's tough they love a drop they love it when it's dropping down on them. So I'm pitching, pitching, pitching. That's kind of the thing I do. Uh, during the guide trips, I always talk about it. I go, keep pitching. I mean, we identified that on our last guide trip that when it was dropping, that's when we typically were getting the bites. That's not to say sometimes I won't just let it stay down there, but more times than not, I like to pitch, pitch, pitch. All right, 
right, this is a better fish. This is a 12 and a halfer. Number two for the day. Look at that bad boy. All right, I'm gonna show you some active captain here. All right, active captain is on. Switching the distance. You can see the distance being switched. Now back to 20. Good image on fish right now. Dropping in. There we go. There's a good fish. Well, thumped it like it was a good, just an eater, just an eater. A lot of things at times I will just search around looking for the schools of fish maybe individual fish as well but right now I'm just searching a point I'm just trying to find looks like I found a bunch of them here I have an idea because we're on my home lake of course but I really do enjoy uh, finding new spots and find new clumps of of action that I can kind of put back up in the head and realize that they are there in the future. So right now we're just on a point. I just found a group of fish here. I don't know if they're going to be active or not, but small or big. I can see that there are some decent fish here. They seem somewhat intrigued by me being here. Hey folks, I get asked all the time, what kind of fish attractor do you use? And I'm going to tell you right now, American Fish Tree has the best one out there that you can purchase. They're not cheap, but they're worth it. And once you drop it, you can forget about it because they're going to last forever, which is awesome. Check them out at AmericanFishTree at gmail.com. On a tough bite, I like the short rod. I like a 10 footer. It's perfect. It's my favorite rod, obviously, if you've been watching three pound fish, you know that. Quick, you can set the hook really, really quick. If you're used to, a, a lot of guys get the boat are used to the 11, 12, and 13 footers, which is great. I just, I prefer a 10 if I don't have to, if it's a, if it's a really a uh, short bite, a 10 makes it really quick, very reactive. We did qualify for the Crappie Master uh, ch National Championship in Louisiana, so we'll be down there as well. So those are the next two biggest events are the uh, Crappie Master National and then also the crappie expert. All right, another eater. All I'm doing is pitching out there, pitching out there, dropping. Seems like they want to hit it on the drop. Hit it on the drop. So my, my setup is with six pound line, high vis, always split shot, usually a number five. And then I always downside to about a 32nd ounce head, jig head. And you know, whatever colors work in that particular day. But I definitely think downsizing is a good thing during the summertime. That's a good solid. Oh, I got off. Unbelievable. That was a solid fish. <laughs> that happens. And again, that was on the drop. Always on the drop. People ask if I ever do spot lock. This is a good situation to do spot lock. I've got a decent enough wind. It's going to hold me here. 
piles out there about six feet in front of my trolley motor and I can continue to pitch over this pile if I choose to. Um, most times I don't use spot lock on piles just because there is going to be fluctuation on that spot lock. I mean, they're not, it's not going to be perfect. So I, I get perfection if, for the most part if I have control over the foot pedal. But right here with a consistent wind, this is the one time I will do it. Oh, yeah, baby. Better fish. A runner. Slab. I think you saw that on the active <laughs> Let's get eating fish. You guys watching today, please subscribe. Don't forget about Instagram and Facebook. Great platforms to see what's going on on a daily basis. Good fish. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoy the live scope and some of the things that I do to make it work. Well, there you have it, folks. Another episode at Three Pounds Fishing. Check them out. If you're interested in guide trips, give me a, a, an email at threepoundfishing at gmail.com. And again, we'll be at the Crappie Expo. We'll be at the National Championship for the Crappie Masters. Folks, it's summer. It's a great time. Get out there. Use that live scope. Size down your baits, consider minnows, all those things to make them strike. But at the end of the day, we're crappie fishing, we're having fun. Thanks for watching.